Welcome to Feature Fridays. I am your community manager, Doc Rock. In this series, we like to cover some of the coolest and most useful features that you'll find inside of Ecamm Live. In today's feature, we're going to cover recording isolated audio tracks. Isolated audio tracks simply means whenever you're using our guest interview feature and you're doing a pre recorded or live stream video, you'll get individual audio files for yourself, each individual guest, your movie files, and your sound effects. This comes in extremely handy for post-production. By post-production, I mean, maybe you want to keep an audio version for a podcast. Maybe you want to take repurposed clips and save them for things like audiograms, something that you might do for an Instagram story, a TikTok, or even a YouTube video. Maybe you're pre-recording courses or webinars and you want to be able to go into post-production and do some really handy things like level the audio because you know, some people talk loud oh. and some people talk a little bit quieter. But if you finish with that file, you want to bring that into your audio editing software and sort of level them up level or level them equally. So today I'm going to show you how to make sure you're getting those individual isolated audio tracks, as well as a couple tricks that you can use after the fact in order to level those files for your post-production and repurpose audio needs. Let's dive right in. Here we are inside of Ecamm Live. The first step to ensure you have this properly set up is to jump into preferences. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do that. First, you can click on the word Ecamm here at the top of the menu, scroll down to preferences, turn it loose, preference window opens. Old school Mac guy here, I press command comma, preference windows open. One of my favorites in Ecamm, just press the cogwheel here in the master window and bye out, preference is open. Now you're gonna to wanna to jump over to the audio tab, come down to the bottom and make sure that the record isolated audio tracks check box is checked. Once that's done, you're good to go. Now, normally when you're recording a live video or recording a pre-recorded video, you'll see at the end, it pops up and says, do you want to show the file? There's a little magnifying glass, you kick that. I can't kick that right now because, well, we're here. So let me show you how I get to mine. Click on the desktop, anywhere in the desktop, hit Command N, that opens a new finder window. I have a shortcut. Right here on the side, it says Ecamm Recordings. I can see all of my recordings. Now, if you're unsure where we are recording your Ecamm files, let me show you how to make sure you know where it is. Come back over to Preferences. Click on General. At the bottom of General, you'll see Choose Recordings Folder. Just buy out. If you click that, it will open up and let you know where your recordings are located. Now, my last secret, I click over here and I drag this guy to the side so I have my little shortcut. I don't have to look all over the place because if you use an Ecamm, you're in this folder a lot. Now let me show you what we do. Here's a recording from this morning in a live stream that I did with Miss Diana Gladney. Here you see my tracks, main track, that's me, my audio. Secondary mic would be my overhead camera, basically my iPhone 8. There's no audio there because didn't use it today, but it still recorded that anyway. Now you'll see sound effects. This comes in handy if you accidentally made a sound effect too loud or accidentally hit a sound effect out of place. Oh. <laughs> You're able to fix that in post-production. At the end, there's guest audio. Now you guys know, Miss Diana's a little bit quiet. Me, I'm a loud mouth. So in our post-production, for any like repurposed clips, something for say YouTube, Instagram, whatever, I'm able to make adjustments so I can make her a little bit more even with myself. If you're not your own podcast editing person, you can send these files to your podcast engineer and they will love you, send you chocolate chip cookies at Christmas, give you big hugs and all of the feels because it's so much easier for them to edit a podcast or edit a video when you have isolated audio tracks. Ecamm family, that's another feature Friday in the books. As you can see, isolated audio tracks can be a real game changer for your productions. If there is a feature Friday you want us to cover, make sure you leave that down in the comments below so we can see if we can get you accommodated. We wanna make sure that your Ecamm experience is the absolute bomb. Last thing, very important, very important. Make sure you're subscribed so you see all the updates as they come out. We have lots in store for you and we don't want you to miss any of it. If you haven't got Ecamm already, make sure you jump over to the site at Ecamm.com, download your free trial today. 
Now watch the video that comes up on screen next.